What's up everyone? Coil Cobra here. I'm out of the range today. I got some new gear to test out today. I got the walk light for my Shadow 2 and I needed a holster for it. So Chip Ream from Renaissance Farms made a custom Cobra themed holster for me. You see it's all kind of dinged up because I've been dry fire practicing at home. But I haven't been out doing any live fire practice with it. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, really excited to test out this new Cobra themed holster for the walk light as well as I'm going to be doing a review of the lock light in a separate video. All right, so I'm pretty excited about this new custom holster from Renaissance Farms. Chip Ream actually reached out to me because uh, he wanted to see if I needed some gear or wanted to review some gear. And I did get the new lock light and I needed a holster for that. So he actually went ahead and purchased one so he could make me a custom Cobra holster for the lock light and my Shadow 2. All right, and here's a close up of what the holster looks like. I actually added in the uh, brass thumb screws here. It originally came with a little cross screw there and just a regular screw there. I just like having the uh, the ease of being able to adjust this on the fly uh, with thumb screws. Lock light, shadow to Cobra! So you can actually see that the holster does have a fair amount of nicks and scratches uh, as I've been wearing this around the house, dry fire, practicing at home. I want to make sure I put it through its paces to be able to give it a good thorough review of, of how well it's been standing up and, and the quality of it. Are you ready? Cobra ready. So I believe this is made out of Kydex and obviously it's two ply because there's two colors. Outside it's a carbon fiber blue and the inside is red. And uh, the edge work uh, where he actually cut the Kydex is very, very smooth. There are no sharp edges around the holster anywhere. And you can actually see it's very, very durable. Uh, it does not flex much when I squeeze it. Obviously I've ran into a couple things because I've dinged it up. So this is actually very, very high quality and durable holster. And then he put on a large Bladetech Team MS for me because he asked me what mounting system I use for my belt rigs and for my carry optics and production rigs. I use the uh, large Team MS for all my ghost holsters to be able to swap them in and out uh, for whatever pistol I'm using. So uh, he can actually do it, you know, any hole pattern you want, uh, Safari Land or small blade tech mounting system. Um, because again, this is a custom holster, any gun, any light, any mounting system. These are custom made. All right, so I just got through doing about five reps with the Shadow 2 and the lock light on my Renaissance Firearms custom holster that Chip made me. I really, really like the holster. It's actually my first custom holster, like I said. Uh, it's actually very, very durable. Uh, Scratch it up doing dry fire at home. But uh, it's actually been very consistent. Um, it feels really, really nice. The custom colors of the blue and the red match my cool Cobra colors. And uh, give a shout out to, to Chip. He actually did really good work on this thing. If you want some other custom holsters, check out Renaissance Farm.